is Stan Princess Gigi with Stan Fanatics, and I have this really cute Christmas card, fast and easy, and this cute little ribbon. I'm going to show you how to fray the ends to make it look like a tassel. Um, anyway, the sentiment is coming from our Everything Festive, and you saw me talk about this at Halloween when we did No Trick or Treats, but now I'm going to use the Merry and Bright, and I love when one stamp set has so many different sayings. We can hit Valentine's Day, Christmas, from our home to yours. That could be any time. It could be uh, for uh, New Year's or it could be for Christmas, Winter Wonderland, Be My Valentine, Peace, Love, and Laughter in the New Year, another New Year card. So it's a very versatile set. So that's what I love about that. Then also I'm using our Night Before Christmas designer series paper, it comes six by six, and it just has so many pretty little scenes on it. You've got um, the trees and the lights, and then you've got kind of a neutral on the back. We've got this great one that has the Santa with the sleighs, and it has a very vanilla in the, the snow, so you can use that instead of your Whisper White. Um, it's got some nice little postage, it's got some plaids, some beautiful reds and then look at the Christmas trees I mean it's just got so many reindeer they're just gorgeous these little stocking you could even cut these out and just put like three on a line um, little Santa hats that you could cut and put on any of our little characters that we have out and then this is the one I'm using today I just thought it was pretty it had lots of ornaments it was bright and it kind of goes along with our saying merry and bright you have some presents um, candy canes, cocoa, they're just about covered at cookies, uh, Christmas lights, just so many different styles. So that's why I love this pack. So today I'm going to be using a piece of real red cardstock as my base. And this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And I scored it at four and a quarter. So that's going to be my bottom of my card. Then I cut a piece of whisper white and this is four by five and a quarter. And that's just a quarter inch less. And then this is a quarter inch less again. So it's three and three quarters by five. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just attach these two with some snail. Oops, I think I might be running out. All right, we'll switch to liquid glue because that's what I have on hand. All right, I'll have to change that later. And we're just gonna go ahead and add that onto our white piece. And what's good about the glue too is you can move it around. It gives you time and wiggle room to straighten things out and put it where you want it. Okay, now I'm gonna take a piece of this ribbon and you don't usually see me go around the back, but this is kind of a twine ribbon. And so this time I am going around the back and I'm gonna tie off, let's see, um, let's get my scissors. I'm going to tie off a little bow on the side. So let's leave enough room. I think that should be good. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie it. And for me, it was easier to tie it in a knot first, so I got it nice and tight on my um, card. So let's do it that way. And now I can start to make my bow. And I can also slide this up and down anywhere I want it. So when I make a bow, I always come around from the back and push it through, but it's made just like a regular bow. And then let's just adjust by pulling on the tails to see what size we want. I just keep tightening it and then pulling it down. Okay, now I'm going to cut this just a little bit shorter and let me show you how I do it. I just take this and sort of fray the ends to make a little bit of a tassel look. I thought that looked cute. Okay, and now we're ready to put it in our card. So this time I'm going to use some of our Stampin' Dimensionals. I get them. And I'm just going to put one just about, oops, I kind of bent that. Well, let's get another one. On either side of each end. I didn't put it right in the corner, but just on either side. And then I'm going to put two in the middle, one up there and one right there. All right, let's pull some of these off. And this is going to pop it up a little bit on our card base, but I thought it was kind of cute to do with that kind of bulky ribbon I'm using. And we're just gonna place it down evenly as we can on the card. And this ribbon, by the way, I don't think I mentioned it, is our Real Red 
and it's sort of a twisted, um, real like pretty chenille feeling, I don't know, ribbon. I just love it because you can fray it a little bit if you want to. All right, now we're gonna stamp our saying on a piece of Whisper White with some real red ink. Just like that. And I'm gonna take my two inch circle punch and we're just gonna punch that out. Now you're not gonna get all of these little stars, but it's okay. You just wanna make sure you get all of the same. So I'm gonna probably do it right about there. And then I'm taking my larger scallop, uh, sunburst, or starburst, I don't know if it's sunburst or starburst, and I'm taking some of our red glimmer paper because it's always nice to have more sparkle at the holidays. And I'm cutting that out. And I'm gonna take some of my glue. When you have a glimmer paper, you wanna make sure that you use a strong adhesive because the glimmer, you know, it might make it come off. So I'm using my liquid glue, very strong. And I'm just gonna place that. And again, I have time to move it around because it is the glue. So I can shift it around until I get all my edges where I want it. And then I'm just gonna go on the top and the bottom with another dimensional. So this way it'll go over the ribbon. Let's get our card. And this is a really fast and easy. I know at the holidays, we don't want real involved cards. You want something that you can do a whole series of quickly, and this is one of them. Okay, isn't that cute? And then I decided, of course, it needs more sparkle. It's the holidays. And I loved how there were so many different colored ornaments here. So I have my noble peacock rhinestones because, again, they're so colorful. But then it didn't have a red one, and I did want to add one red. So I'm also using our real red rhinestones. So I'm going to just open these up and take out, let's see, what colors did I use here? I used blues and greens. So let's do that again. I'm just, and I'm not following these stars because I kind of like the red in it. So I'm just putting them around and let's get a nice light green because there's that green in that ornament. And this one I did, I think, put right over there. And then my red, let's get a red one. I'm just gonna finish off and put it right down here. And see, it just makes that card sparkle. Isn't that pretty? So, okay, let me get better lighting. There we go. All right, that's our card. How fast was that? So if you need any of these products, you can shop with me at stampfanatics.com and please use my current host code. It's right there on my blog. And um, I hope you stamp. Have a great day. Thanks.